We are outside of Orlando, Florida, and we're working with Jason Sukoff at the world-renowned Audio Hammer Studios doing album number six and making history. Yeah, let me try that again. Working with Jason, being back here at Audio Hammer is, I, you know, I like being here. Uh, drum room's great. I like the process that they have for recording drums. I can do that better, I guess. Yeah, I got it. Let me, uh, I just need to warm up. I'll get better. <laughs> He had uh, a lot of suggestions. I've definitely done a lot of things on this album that I wouldn't normally do, ever. If you'll notice, a few of you have, uh, we don't have any uh, actual kick drums uh, on, this, on this kit. We, we're using uh, pads, you know, because uh, when you're playing death metal, all that shit's replaced anyway. Just the kicks anyway. All the, all the, all the hands and uh, everything else is you know what, what we're focused on here uh, to make sure it's uh, as clean as clean sounding as possible. Uh, with without the kicks, we're able to uh, mic the bottoms of the toms and uh, and put mics in places that we wouldn't normally be able to. I got a couple new things that I'm working with. I got this 18-inch uh, K Custom Hybrid China. Sounds pretty sweet. Uh, also, I added this 10-inch uh, Oriental China which uh, I use for accents off my, you know, playing off my ride. And uh, yeah, so, but everything else is A-custom. Uh, sounded sick. Drums came out very, very good. Uh, all, we got all the sounds that we were desiring. So far, drums are heavy at least. <laughs> the new there it is. He has guitar. That might be a separate, another track thing. Yeah, probably. Just do the octave above it, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll, it'll meet up with it. Yeah, that's cool. It's pretty cool working with pros like Jason Sukov, uh, working with Mick, because I mean, we're, the five of us all have great ideas. We can all put everything into it, but sometimes you need that outside ear, that outside perspective. And I love what, what we've come up with by working with these guys. Jason and Jordan are helping us utilize more harmonies and overtones and undertones and bringing out different things you can utilize in writing to help make the record a little more special and, and different and new than previous stuff. Doubling up what the diminished harmony would be instead of four frets up, it's eight frets up. Or no, it's gonna, it's G, it should be G sharp. Oh, okay. Okay, so you have to know. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So what I just showed you was correct. Yeah. We're just trying to track, but low tunings and different things. It's just a lot of difficulties. I don't know. I actually don't know what's going on. Tone sounds good. Guitar's in tune. But, I don't know. It could be a couple of things, but we're not sure. I wish I didn't hear anything. I wish I was a fucking... A deaf engineer? Yeah. I'm just hearing shit out of phase shit for no reason on chords being held out that's annoying but no one else hears it and it's you know but that's why i'm here to be the guy that hears it 160 is smaller and it'll probably work fine yeah it sounds better on that it's just a shame that the string won't be brighter yeah those stainless steels are brighter normally when we work with a producer they always tell us they're going to be meticulous and go through everything and then they're not and this is the first time we've actually worked with someone that's very thorough and very meticulous about every little thing. Any time there's any tuning issues, any little nuance of noise or the way we play or pick, Jason's on it. And he's really, really combing through all our tracking and making it the most perfect tr takes that we can possibly make. 
I don't know. Sun's phasing. It's making me dizzy. The tube's going bad. It's something else going on in there. That's affecting the tone. Day four of guitar is wrapped up. Uh, it's problem after problem. Nobody's fault. Just a bunch of stupid shit keeps happening. Maybe we'll start tracking tomorrow.